fascinating, fascinating debate last night. Uh, one of the things that I think really got highlighted in the debate was the right wing view, really the hard right view. This, uh, you know, uh, I think without exception, these candidates are all, you know, way to the right of where the Republican Party was even just, you know, 40 years ago. Um, but the, the hard right worldview, you know, that we're all victims, that uh, billionaires and private enterprise always does things better than government, even even when they're appropriate government functions, that the founders got it wrong, that the general welfare clause in the Constitution, uh, you know, which uh, Alexander Hamilton at some length wrote about in his uh, report on manufacturers, saying that, you know, we are interpreting the, the, uh, the general welfare clause as widely as possible because that's what we intended to do. We intended to give Congress a lot of latitude to determine what constitutes the general welfare of the American people. And, you know, clearly both Congress and the Supreme Court have concluded that Medicare, Social Security, all these, these, these are all reasonable under the general welfare phrase. But... Carly Fiorina doesn't think so. This is this is where this is. I mean, these are the interesting kind of fault lines in our body politic that are not being discussed right now, to the best of my knowledge, in our media. We're not having a serious discussion about these differences in worldview. What's the appropriate function of government? Instead, the Republicans are talking about it like it's a done deal, and the Democrats are talking. Yeah, it's let's. Well, anyhow, here's what Carly Fiorina had to say about this. This is clip the alone. The point I'm making is this. The, okay, the point I'm making is this. The federal government should not be in a lot of things. There is no constitutional role for the federal government in setting up a retirement plans. There is no constitutional role for the federal government to be setting minimum wages. Thank you the very much. The more the government gets engaged in the economy, the slower the economy becomes. And, and, and Carly Fiorina is simply wrong. I mean, and she can take it up with the Supreme Court. I mean, this was litigated in the 1920s. It was litigated in the 30s. It was litigated in the 40s before the Supreme Court. And both the Supreme Court and Congress have said, you know, when the when the framers of the Constitution put that one of the seven purposes that this Constitution was being created was to provide for the general welfare of of the individuals of the United States, of of citizens, uh, you know, of, of of the people of the United States. Provide for the general wealth. That's in the preamble. And it's both in the opening and closing sentences of Article 1, Section 8, which, you know, all the libertarians love to cite saying, these are the enumerated powers. Well, it's at the beginning and the end. So, you know, get over it. These are, these are arguments that have been made ever since Fred Koch, you know, started funding the, the John Birch Society. And they're phony arguments. They were arguments that the founders would have laughed at. 